Hello my people, welcome to Opa News TV where we give you the latest news, gist and updates. Do subscribe to this channel for more and more information. What we will bring you now? Hello viewers and welcome to Breaking News on Opa News TV. Now our headlines. Nigeria swears in a new president facing profound economic and security pressures. Fuel subsidy is gone, Tinubu declares. Raymond Deposi, owner of Ray Power and AIT, is dead. Unite Nigeria released Namdekanu. Prophet Igenla writes open letter to Tinubu after swearing in. My family does not need Nigeria's wealth to survive, Remy Tinubu. Welcome, viewers, and our news in details. Nigeria swears in a new president facing profound economic and security pressures. Bola Tinibu has been sworn in as Nigeria's president at a ceremony in the capital city of Abuja. The 71-year-old comes to power following a dispute election and under pressure to quickly improve the economy and security in Africa's most populous country. Bola Tinibu became Nigeria's president on Monday during a period of unprecedented challenges for Africa's most populous country, leaving some citizens hopeful for a better life and others skeptical that his government would perform better than the one he succeeded. Tinubu took to his oath in office on Monday, inheriting a country with profound challenges. Unemployment has soared and financial insecurity has spread across Africa's largest economy under outgoing President Muhammad Buhari. Kindly watch a clip of the ceremony yesterday. Bola Ahmed Chinobu, do solemnly swear that you have been faithful and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that as President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I will discharge my duties perform my functions honestly to the best of my ability and faithfully in accordance with the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law. Now, our second news for the day. Fuel subsidy is gone, Tinibu declares. President Bola Tinibu has declared that there would no longer be a petroleum subsidy regime as the current 2023 budget he glimpsed does not contain it. He stated this on Monday in his inaugural address at the Eagle Square in Abuja. The current 2023 budget has provision for the fuel subsidy till June. Mr. Tinebu stated that funds for, for subsidiaries will be diverted to other things like public infrastructure, education, health care, and jobs. Can they listen to his inaugural speech? Unfortunate. The budget that I've glimpsed before I asked him of me and what I've had is that no provision is there of fair subsidy. The fair subsidy is gone. And coming up on our news today, Raymond Dokwesi, owner of Ray Power, AIT, is dead. According to a friend of the family who asked not to be named, Mr. Dokwesi fell off a treadmill in his home in Abuja on Monday morning. The accident led to his death. The deceased, 71 years old, had suffered a stroke in February, but was believed to be recuperating. Mr. Dokwesi's son, Raymond Dokwesi Jr., later confirmed the death in a statement issued on behalf of his family. The family will release further details on the funeral arrangements in due course, he said. United Nigeria released Namdekanu, Prophet Iginla writes open letter to Tinubu after swearing in. 
Prophet Joshua Eginla of the Champions Royal Assembly has written an open letter to President Bola Tinubu following his inauguration. Eginla urged Tinubu to unite Nigerians and solve the major socio-economic, religious, and ethnic problems confronting the country as the father of the nation. He also urged the newly sworn in president to forgive the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namdi Kanu. And last on our news today, and many more to come up, the wife of the president elect and current president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Bola Tinibu, Mrs. Remy Tinibu, has said that her family does not need Nigerians' wealth to survive. The wife of the president elect, Mrs. Oluremu Tinibu, has said that her family doesn't need the wealth of Nigeria to survive. According to Mrs. Tinibu, God has already blessed the family with what it needed to survive. She made these remarks on Sunday during a speech at the presidential inauguration interdenominational church service at the National Christian Center in Abuja. Kindly listen. Come together for us to be renewed in our hope again. To hope in Nigeria, young children have sung here today. They are expecting the best for Nigeria. Nigeria's wealth is the common wealth of all. It belongs to everyone. God has blessed my family. We don't need the wealth of Nigeria to survive, but to do the right thing. And I promise you on this altar that with your help, with the help of God, we will set this nation on the right path. And that wraps up our news for the season. Kindly subscribe for more updates. Thank you.